Welcome back, Spain, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is Tuesday. Well, today's Tuesday, July the 13th, 2021. Spain, okay, I see three views yesterday. Thanks for those three views yesterday, but now I have a favor to ask you folks. First of all, of course, click on that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Click on it if you find a support helpful. Click the like button. And third, and most important of all, click on the share button. Share this video on your Facebook and your Twitter accounts today. You can also, of course, click on the share button, copy and paste the link into, and use it to, to send emails and text messages to your friends the link to this video today, okay? Thanks so much, uh, Spain. We'll catch, let's get on with the show. And as always, I'll just remind you that Spain does not record COVID-19 data for Saturday and Sunday, but instead they add Saturday and Sunday's numbers on to Mondays. So you can see here that, uh, well, we got her. Spain has, what, 3.9 million cases, is that right? 81,020 deaths. A decline in mortality rate isn't that important. It simply means that the, uh, the ratio of cases to deaths is increasing. Now, of course, if for sake of argument, uh, cases were basically leveling off, but deaths were falling, you would see an increase, you would see a decrease in the mortality right here. So it can't, it, you know, but that's not necessarily the case. Okay. Daily cases. You continue to see a spike upwards of 32,932 for July the 12th. And you see here, uh, for the 70 average as of July the 7th was uh, 21,000. 402 deaths per average, uh, average deaths for the previous seven days. Cases, I'm sorry, cases. Now, the good news is there does appear to be a continued declining pattern in deaths. You can see that for this for uh, July the 12th, you have you had 12 deaths or 17 deaths. And for July, for the seven-day period and in July the 6th, you were averaging 18.2 deaths per day. So this is this is definitely good news. This, this, this continued declining pattern is good news. What about weekly cases? Well, you see, you had, you had a spike the previous two weeks, but now that's fallen back down a little bit this week. Okay, but never forget you came from all the way up here. Okay, back in back in January. Deaths, you can see deaths are continuing to decline on a weekly basis. That's very good news. Um, well, we can see June's cases was one of the lowest cases since all the way back over here on on, June, on July of 2021, on July of 20. Okay? And deaths, look at this, look at this declining pattern in deaths rate on a monthly basis. So that's, this is, this is the best news. Because I just want to remind you that uh, according to Worsh University, the single best measure of the spread of a pandemic is, is daily deaths, or weekly deaths, or monthly deaths. Particularly if the vaccine only keeps you from dying. So if the vaccine, if you can take the vaccine, the difference, the difference between taking the vaccine and not taking the vaccine isn't, isn't that it keeps you from getting COVID-19, it keeps you from dying from COVID-19, okay? This is something to think about there, right? Well, Spain, that does conclude your report for today. Again, thanks for shout out to all three people who watched the video yesterday. Of course, my favorites is always one, subscribe, two, uh, like the video, and three, most important of all, click on the share button. Share this video today on, on your Facebook and Twitter accounts. You can also, of course, click on that share button, copy and paste the link to this video into an email or a text message today, and send it to your friends. Thanks so much, Spain. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.